Welcome back to Irons United. Anton here wishing you a very happy new year. May all the best wishes come true for you in 2020. And hopefully all these wishes come true for you with regards to supporting our beautiful club, West Ham. We are bringing back our transfer show. I know Stell does a weekly show. Um, it's just a West Ham weekly update. It's about everything to do with West Ham. We've got Alf's show, Oi Oi, Confidential or Grumbles. We've got our previews, reviews. But what we do do is every transfer window, we bring to you some snippets, really small statistics on some of the players that we're linked with. So what we try and do is we're not saying that the links are true. We're not saying that we're breaking any news for you West Ham fans. But what we are saying to you is if there are links to the club, we will look into the statistics and the history of the player and let you know what we think and if they fit into the, the, the side or the squad. Um, but definitely make sure you get your comments in below. Let us know your thoughts on what we're saying. These will be coming out as soon as we see links on players. Um, we have been on, on to a bit of a, a slow start, but as you can imagine, a few or a couple of beers and a couple of spice rums may have taken over. Anyway, let's get straight on to it. Gedson Fernandez is subject to speculation um, from quite a lot of clubs all over Europe. Um, so it's time for West Ham to take a closer look at the Benfica midfielder who has been impressing. Of course, we are linked to the player. Um, he's another fine example of Benfica's youth setup, the academy which has produced many elite talents such as Bernardo Silva, Yao Felix, Yao Cancelo and Ederson. Um, he carried his terrific form from the youth setup straight into the first team for Benfica, becoming a vital member of their playing team when he did break through into the senior team. He helped them to the league title playing 22 games. The youngest achieved considerably, uh, he conceived considerable amount of game time which should, of course, help him develop. He did manage three assists in his first senior campaign. He prefers to play in a central midfield role, um, but, he is, uh, but he has also expanded his play. He's played as an attacking midfielder, left midfielder, and right mid midfielder when required. He, um, his dribbling and passing range stand out immensely. I mean, I could say to you have a look at the videos, it's not just all about the videos on YouTube, but if you do have a look at it, it's pretty accurate about his passing range. He is capable of beating three men with the ball at his feet. Um, alternatively, he has no issue picking off a 30 yard pass with ease. And of course, we are missing that flair and that excitement in the middle of the park. And he could be someone that could bring that for us. Another great thing to see with Fernandez is his willingness to get back and help the team defensively with an average of two tackles per game. So, of course, that is a, a, a really kind of nice stat to hear. Um, the 20 year old has struggled for game time lately at Benfica after falling out with the manager. Um, he obviously earmarked himself out there for the, a player for the future, but he's only started twice in this current campaign. Um, in fact, he's not even featured in many of the recent games for Benfica. Uh, he's fallen down the pecking order under the manager who normally plays a 4-4-2 while Fernandez plays best in a midfield three or in a 4-2-3-1 where he is um, strong, you know, gets the freedom to do what he needs to do. He's even won two caps for the senior Portugal, uh, Portuguese team, having won the UEFA European Under-17 Championships. Um, back in 2016 so he would be an exciting addition to our midfield providing athleticism skill strength and creativity through the middle of the park there's no really limit to what this young lad can achieve he's definitely one for the future I do like the idea of this transfer I think it would really stamp the authority of what Moyes is looking to do with the club and stability is massive for us right now we've tried with and tested I don't even know if you could say we've tested players like Wilshire, etc. But we need these players in and these players playing games. He needs to play regular football. Um, a potential 18-month loan agreement is in the pipeline, which should include a £34 million option to buy the 20-year-old, when considering, if you consider the boy had a £104 million release clause initially, I mean, this could end up being a steal for West Ham. So for me, it's an absolute no-brainer. And like I said to you, we are missing that creativity, that player that can penetrate defences, but can also work hard. You know, West Ham fans are crying out for that midfielder to, 
be in the midfield and work really hard. So um, if we can bring that creativity, that flair, that athleticism, um, box to box midfielder, yeah, and he's young, he's young, and that's what we need in the in, in the squad. So pretty much an exciting potential one. Let me know your thoughts on what I've said about him. Um, do you think it's going to be a good addition for the club? Um, or do you think it could be a potential flop? Do you think this is a Moyes transfer? I do. I think the club have probably had their eyes on him for a little while, but he looks like he favours a move to London. I think other clubs are sniffing around him. He's been linked with Manchester United for a long time, and apparently, as of today, Everton are now sniffing around him. But maybe that's the pull from Ancelotti, but I do think West Ham are capable of bringing him in, considering he really wants to move to London. Um, I think he's maybe got some family connections in London, so that would be a good move for West Ham. I would definitely take that. In other news that is breaking today, West Ham have agreed a deal to sign former player, Republic of, Interna uh, of Ireland international, Darren Randolph, 32 years old, from Middlesbrough, for a fee around £4 million. And the transfer is expected to proceed smoothly with, a goal, um, with Randolph keen to rejoin us. Looks like that will probably be completed in the next couple of days. Um, he spent two seasons with us at West Ham before moving to Middlesbrough in 2017 for five million and is wanted to cover Lucas Fabianski. He would not be immediately, uh, immediately available though because he has around 10 days from being fit after a return from a thigh injury. He made over 42 appearances for West Ham over two seasons in all competition. Originally as backup to Adrian but challenged Adrian in the last season at Upton Park where he made over 20 appearances that season. And of course, he was the keeper for that famous game against Manchester United at Upton Park, where we beat them 3-2. I think this is a great signing. Um, mentioned it, uh, some people have been talking about saying, is that a step in the right direction? I actually think it is. If you consider the gamble we took when Adrian left the club, and we brought in Roberto and David Martin. It's not really worked out for us. And we don't have solid strength as cover for West Ham, so I think Dan Randolph coming in, he knows the club, he has been the champ, he was in the championship team of the season last year for Middlesbrough, he's been getting game time, and um, consistency is massive for footballers and goalkeepers, so he knows the club, he knows the surrounding, he knows what it, uh, to expect from the fans, so for me it's an absolute no-brainer, and if this means that uh, Roberto will head out the other way, then unfortunately it just didn't work out, I mean I'm not going to sit here and rip into him but no it didn't work out so I would have um, Fabianski with the backup of Randolph and Martin I mean of course who's come in performed really well but I think it's fair to say that we were desperately in need of a, a goalkeeper and if you remember back to the time when we had Randolph and Adrian the fan base was all split it was either are you a Randolph fan are you an Adrian fan but you know um, Adrian's moved on to other things and Randolph Obviously, he's been getting game time, and when he comes back from his injury, he'll definitely push Fabianski. I'm not saying he's definitely not going to start, but I definitely think it's a, a, a good option for us to take. And, of course, um, we're paying less than what we sold him for, so that's another great bit of business. So, for me, it's stability. That's what we need. Stability right now gives Moyes an opportunity to build a core and grow from from that moment onwards so if we can bring in these two guys I think that's a good start to the transfer window and we of course know there are hopefully more signings to come let me know your thoughts on Darren Randolph let me know your thoughts on Fernandez. let me know what other players you think you were linked with and who you'd like to see videos on Stell will be coming to you with his West Ham Weekly tomorrow night so keep an eye on for that and Alf is doing an oi oi video that should be released tonight at 7.30pm of course make sure you subscribe to the channel get your comments in below and let me know your thoughts on everything we're doing. I've been Anton, this is Iron United. Come on, you irons.